Levodopa is the best known treatment for Parkinson's, but it can cause some other debilitating side effects. Now, researchers at the University of Arizona are testing an old drug in addition to Levodopa to see if it all brings relief. Derek Lowe has more. Sharon Ka started taking Levodopa for Parkinson's in 2005. Now she has dyskinesia, uncontrollable movements of the body. It is so frustrating when you start having these large involuntary movements because they're intrusive. Here you can see a good example of a lesion, a Parkinson lesion in an animal. So all Neuroscientist Torsten Falk's research indicates that the anesthetic ketamine eases dyskinesia in rodents and also in five Parkinson's patients who were already taking it for pain relief. In a way, it's almost like a reset button where you get a treatment and you have a uh, weeks to month long benefit. Repurposing ketamine for dyskinesia could get it to the patients quicker. It's already been safety tested at higher doses than Dr. Falk plans to test. If you start uh, with something fresh, a new drug, the problem uh, can really be that, I mean, it, it can be five to ten years of safety testing before you can really do uh, a proper trial to look for efficacy. Sharon says that's good news. It sounds like a wonderful treatment because those large involuntary movements are so irritating. Falk hopes to start phase one of the trial in the coming months. Derek Lowe, KFDX 3 News. Ketamine can raise blood pressure and cause feelings of dissociation in higher doses. Researchers expect the dosage needed to control all of this will be much lower than that. For more information, head on over to TexomasHomePage.com.